I'll catch up in a minute. It's really slow today. Okay guys, so we are in the convention right now. Um, we are walking over to the Funko booth to go check it out. We got in a little early while everybody's setting up. We somehow just nodded our way in, so we're in. Nobody cared. And uh, we're going over to the Xbox booth to go see if we can get in line for tickets today. I think we're good. Everybody okay, so everybody's walk. He's yelling at them, but guess what guys? We got our ticket. Second in line. Here's first right here. We're going in. We can't come back though till 10.30, correct? Yes, we don't, yeah. we don't have to. Oh, we're good. you know what this means? Right you know. No, we're good to go. Guys, we're good till 10.30. Okay, okay guys, so here's the boxes that they're taking out right now. Uh, they're right there, pretty cool. Uh, I don't even know which that one is. Which one is that one? A snowy Bigfoot, there you go. That's pretty cool. Anyways, here's the trash over there. Okay guys, so we are at the booth right now, and uh, we are getting all the ones that I missed out on the other day. Look at that, that's, that's scary right there. That is scary. But uh, we're here getting some other ones, guys. This is exciting. We got Bigfoot over here. Dudley over there. Looks really good, guys. Yeah. Hey, guys, we are good to go. We made it to the Funko booth. Oh, look, there's Noah. Hey, Noah. Haha. -ha. back. Yeah. Yeah, finally. Hi, guys. Today we're over here at the Funko booth, and we are here with Hillary. And um, we're going to be asking her a couple questions about, you know, the con and how it's going. And so, what, what do you think is the most popular one that's been selling so far this year? I think that it's kind of a toss-up. Jeffrey the Giraffe is really popular here, um, and Marty McFly. Oh, yeah, that one's been really, doing really also well. Also, that Rush 3-pack is yeah. very popular. Yeah, that one's really awesome. Yeah. But uh, what, what do you think your favorite one is at this booth this year? My favorite one is the Bigfoot flocked with the ice cream cone. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got that one. That I one's a great that one. one. But what, one more question, what do you think is different about coming to a Canadian convention versus maybe a San Diego Comic Con or a New York Comic Con? Well, it's, you know, it's, everyone's very polite. Yeah. <laughs> I think that that's uh, the first thing that I noticed. Um, not as much running, you know, a lot of uh, the cons in America people are kind of sprinting towards yeah. our booth, but it's a little more orderly here, I, I noticed that, and um, you know, everyone's, everyone's been really polite. Yeah. yeah. Well, thanks for having me. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Okay guys, so I am walking right now and I've decided to start wearing my bag as a necklace here. We've got a big one. Um, Cameron's still here as well. Hey guys. And uh, we're over here, we're gonna walk around. We're actually looking for Noah who should be over at the Call of Duty booth, but uh, we haven't been able to find him. I don't know where the Call of Duty booth is, um, so we're gonna go look for him and see if we can find him. And then after that, we're gonna go over to the Fugitive Toys booth, so that'll be fun. Okay guys, so over here we're looking at some of the good stuff. I I'm not gonna buy this because it's $500, but the 9-inch Chase Batman, they've got the Wampa. Look at that, look at that Boba Fett there. How much is it? $1,500? Okay, no, 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 no. Okay, so look at all the expensive ones down here. They've got some really, really expensive ones that I'm not even able to buy because there's so many of them. But that Batman would be the one. But uh, they had the normal 9-inch one last time we came, but now they've got the Chase one out, so that's even cooler. Okay, guys, so over here we found the new Friends characters. So we've got uh, Ross, Rachel, Joey. Um, these are the ones that I see here, which are pretty cool, actually. Oh, they also have Chandler and Phoebe down here, so that's pretty cool. Um, ooh, which one's that one? Is that Venomized? Yeah, look at that. Digimon down here. Uh, Sally Stitch. What do they got on the chase ones over there? Here, I'm going to sneak in there. And they got a couple good ones. It's hard to get in there, though. But, um, yeah, guys, as we get higher up there, we've got the Game of Thrones ones. Uh, some Game of Thrones ones up there. They've got, like, NBA. Ooh, Weird Al. Um, up top, they've got, like, Contest of Champions. It's kind of hard because I'm holding the bottom of it. But, uh, yeah, they still got a couple good ones up here. Other than that though guys, not, not too much going on over here, but uh, they do have a lot of really cool ones and maybe stuff that I'd get, but uh, ooh, Sandlot over here, they've got some other ones like Matt from Digimon, they're, they're playing like Locksmith was up there as well, which that one's pretty cool, I already got it, but hey, it's still here. Oh, also Venom, haven't seen this one in person before, so there we go guys. Okay, so over here they've got the little shop before, so they've got Audrey 2, Seymour, Audrey, they've got some pretty good ones over here actually. Um, then we've got, over here we've got Gargoyles. Down a bit, we've got the Marty McFly and Dr. Emmett Brown. So if you want to get this one signed by either of them, they're here at the convention. Down bottom over here, guys, we've got Guillermo del Toro, some other Jurassic Park ones. Um, but yeah, guys, Jurassic World as well, as well as Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, guys, so over here, we're at the Fugitive Toys booth. Um, they have a lot of cool ones. Some of them have sold out since last time. I do see Marge Simpson from The Simpsons. No, why don't you come over here for a bit? We've got Marge Simpson over here. They've got Bebop, Soldier, Rocksteady. Oh, what else we got down here? Mordecai, some other supernatural ones. Uh, one for 15 or three for 40 isn't even that bad either. 
got like the Adventure Time ones that I really like down here. The Toy Wars exclusive Jake is only 50. That's not bad at all. They have the Lich and these ones, 85 down there. Um, but I want you back up and do a quick pan and then we'll kind of show everything off from there. But uh, yeah, they do have a lot of them. It's hard to show off all of them because of how many there are, but they do have a lot of really cool ones. Lord of the Rings up there as well. Did you see those? Here, come this way now. The Noid now. What else do you got? Elastic Girl for 140. I was thinking of getting Jolly Bee for 115. Um, that's a good, it's a good option. I'm not sure yet, but uh, we're still gonna look around and see what else they've got. I know for sure I'm getting another mystery box, but uh, for now that's all I know. So we'll keep going from there. They're taking them off, they're switching them around. That's funny. Okay, guys, so we're looking over here at the Jolly Bees. Here's the metallic one for 500, then here's the normal one for 115. Honestly, they're not even that different. The only thing I really see that's different is that this one's limited to 4,000 pieces, and it's the metallic one, and this one's limited to just, you know, Jolly Bee in general. What are you gonna film? We're sending Cameron inside the booth here. We've got him mic'd up here. Watch, see? Uh, uh. He's all mic'd up here. <laughs> and uh, we're gonna send him in the Nun. I'm not gonna go in. I just wanna hear the sounds. So him and my mom are gonna go in, and uh, we're gonna see how this goes. And you guys will be able to hear it, but you won't be able to see it, but they're gonna be in this booth right here. So let's see how it goes. Oh, we have our camera. You can back up as much as you can into our beautiful Nun here. I don't really want to. No? Okay. Nothing comes so. out. It's just oh. a picture. Hi, uh, scary nun lady. Yeah, she's not going to jump out at you. Okay, ready? Say your last prayer. Hold it. Was it scary? Kind of. at the EB Games booth and I found some cool pops. I don't know if I'm gonna pick this one up today, but I do see a really cool one. And if you guys can see it, no, here, show it off. You see it down there? Let's see if we can get to it. This one here, guys. This is the deluxe one done by Jim Lee. It's also, it's designed by him. It's the Batman Hush version, as you guys can see here, because he is the comic artist for this. So the character's inspired by him. I think that's really neat. There it is there. And then on the front, guys, it's the same shot there. Um, they also have some of the Carmen San Diego up here as well. You guys can see that. We've got some atom bombs over here. Um, some of the ones from Princess Pride. Um, as we go farther down, they've got like Sweeper Bot, some other exclusives. Um, everything seems to be different here because so many people are buying things from here. They might have like low stock of a bunch of things. So you never know what you're gonna find in here. No, they've got the new Overwatch ones over here. You wanna go look over here? Here, come here. Guys, over here they've got the actually actually the E3 Master Chief. Uh, what else do we got down here? Torbjorn, which is really cool. We've got E3 King Dice, um, Soldier 76 as well. Some other random ones from Overwatch, but um, I think we're gonna keep going, guys, because this is something we've already seen before. But maybe I'll come back later for that Batman. You never know. but it says buy any five items get the sixth one free um, so if you guys know where that booth is I guess that's where we are I'm not sure there's no name on it but we are looking around at some cool pops over here and I am seeing some pretty good ones like I see shredder over here 30 bucks so it's not even that bad honestly and a protector and everything um, they've got stuff like Michael Myers a lot of horror ones there's one over here they've got some video games and stuff like that uh, one that I do see that I really like is the uh, super mutant and Piper like all the fallout ones over here um, Dig Dug, Spirit Breaker, and as we go over the other side, as you can see, guys, they've got a lot of the Space Invaders um, that they've got. They've got the pink one, the teal one, orange, and then the normal green one up there. I think it is instead of the glow in the dark, is it? Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you flip around over to the other side, show off like the Spider Man, which I don't know which Spider Man this is. Let's check it. 
I think this is the normal one. Yeah, just the original Spider-Man, which is a really cool pop, actually, $32. Um, is it horrible, but it is kind of expensive. Um, but yeah, they've got a lot of ones that I've never seen before in person. I mean, I knew about these characters, I've just never seen them before. Um, no, like over here, they've got some of the Disney ones, if you guys want to show those off. Brave Little Taylor, Maleficent, Tailspin, um, Duck Dodgers down there. Not Disney, but still cool. Uh, Cogsworth, Gaston, um, Carmen San Diego. Just some really cool ones over at this booth. Um, they've also got some wacky wobblers and some more expensive stuff up top. Some chase ones over at the front. Um, but yeah, guys, that looks like it's about it for this booth. Um, I think we're going to keep going. So we flipped over to the other side of the booth and we're looking at some other stuff. They do have the Batman Beyond, Batman, um, some random ones over here. This is the same one. Um, but yeah, like they've got the conventions exclusives. But these ones are $40 each, so it's not really worth it getting it. So I guess uh, we also have like Batman Robot. As we go down, guys, we've got some other ones down here. Just some other random superheroes in that. Um, but it's going to be hard to kind of show those off. So let's move over here where they've got like Star Wars ones. Like the uh, Stormtrooper, uh, Princess Leia, which I've got this one already. A uh, Princess Leia Boosh is pretty cool. The normal Princess Leia. Luke Skywalker looks pretty good. Um, but off. What? $32.99. Oh, yeah. You can, you can find that for $15 at another booth. This booth's a little overpriced, but not for some of them. Some of them are pretty good. Like, they have $15 pops, but some of them are kind of expensive. Uh, but what do we got over here? We got Flash Gordon. Firefly. I mean, all of them do come with pop protector, so I guess the two extra dollars for the fifteen dollars ones or sixteen dollars ones is worth it. But uh, not for the ones that are twenty-two and they're worth like eighteen or fifteen. It's not worth it. Also, guys, look up here. Ten-inch Thanos for a hundred dollars. That's pretty crazy, but still. Okay guys, so we are over here at the Fugitive Toys booth. Here's all of their rare exclusives up there in the top. Let me see if I can zoom in on that. I gotta be careful with the one I'm with here right now. They've got a lot of really cool ones up here. And they let me take down the Glow in the Dark holographic Darth Maul, which is $3,300, such a cool pop. Cletus, I guess I've touched it, so he's got one if you guys didn't know, but here it is right there, guys. I'm just gonna take a quick pop, or a thumbnail with this one, and then we'll keep going, but it's such an awesome pop. So we are on our way home now. Um, I'm on the train, so I'll show you everything I got. I guess we'll kind of just talk about it a bit. We're not going to do it too much um, until we get home, but it's going to be fun, guys. So I guess we'll just uh, show you everything when we get home. We'll do it a quick way so that way you guys don't have to wait any longer. But anyways, guys, I'll see you in a minute. Okay, guys, so we are back home now from the convention. Um, I'm going to be showing off some of the stuff that I talked about in the other video, like from the video before this, like these guys here. Because um, these are the ones that I'm going to be showing off today, and I'm not going to be showing off anything else today because we're going to be doing a separate video where I talk about every Funko Pop from Fan Expo. Literally, literally everything, guys. I got one of each from Fan Expo, so we're going to be talking about those tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I can show off these guys at least. So we got like Bigfoot, Snowy, Lucas Lee, Austin Matthews, Gyro Attack Mega Man, Strange Brew, and then the Doctor Who set. That kind of rhymes Strange Brew and Doctor Who. But anyways, guys, um, today was really fun. We had a lot of fun stuff. I interviewed Funko today, as you guys saw. Um, so yeah, Hillary was really nice. We did a cool little interview there. Um, what else did we do? Oh, we got interviewed by um, Geek Centric, so that was fun. Um, I went around to the different booths. Oh, did you guys see Fugitive Toys? They let me uh, take a couple clips of their most expensive pops, and I got to hold the holographic um, Darth Maul. That was really cool. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. I mean, we got in line really early. We were one of the first ones in line, so that was really cool to go to the Funko booth today. We got the 1030 slot, so we got in there right away. Um, but I think that's it for today, guys. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was Fan Expo Day 2 for us. I mean, technically it was Day 3 for the convention, but Day 2 for us. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys want to see more Fan Expo stuff, stay tuned for tomorrow because we're going to be doing all of these guys and talking about every single pop. I'll be doing like the 360s of each one so you guys can see them in nice detail. Um, but anyways, this has been another episode of Top Pops Popsters. Thanks for watching.
Ricky.